busting Ruiz with a left hook. And another right cross. Roy mocking Ruiz in there. This is one time Jones cannot play around. Ruiz landed the right hand. He played with the light heavyweight, but you can't play with the big guys like this. Well, Roy's standing there with his hands below his waist, George. That's good, but don't sit, don't play and laugh and try to get into exchanges. Jones again whacking Ruiz with the left hook. Ruiz just a little short with that right hand. You see, before Ruiz can get started, you're down just 10 seconds. You can't get it that way. Another good round for Roy Jones' boxing side. Seated at ringside, the heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis. Waiting to see if John Ruiz can elevate his own status as a potential challenger by beating Roy Jones. Out, so what I'm out Come on, listen, Come on, listen. Come on, listen. Come on, listen. Come on, Come on, listen. 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 Come on, Come on, listen. 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 That Roy Jones slams into the right side. And there's the right hand. Perhaps the best punch that Ruiz has landed. Roy Jones says that he doesn't even like a fly to land on his face. He's very seldom been hit by clean punches with serious power and leverage behind it. And, uh, he was hit by that one. On Harold Letterman's card, Roy Jones has won every round. By CompuBox numbers, he's 55 out of 192. To Ruiz is 35 out of 160. Jones attacking sparingly, conserving his energy, fighting in staccato bursts exactly the way he likes to do it. Ruiz not pressuring him, not making him fight at a pace that might wear him down. Left hook lands for Jones. He's trying to be quicker than the faster man. You can't do it. You got to moat, get up on Roy Jones, get your head on his shoulders in his chest and stay there you know you made a great point George when you said Ruiz has to go in there and play football yes. he's not playing football no he's, he's playing boxing. basketball that's right he's playing basketball yeah. and he Jones wins basketball. that game See. great right hand landed for Jones Ruiz tried to attack Roy got away Ruiz has been reluctant to use his size and strength because every time he comes in on Jones he gets he has to pay for it and he doesn't want to pay that price. Stop! Stop! Let go! Let go! You see Roy Jones goes to the middle of the ring. He's got five or six steps before the ropes come. Ruiz shouldn't allow him that. Keep him over there beside those ropes. Again, the trickle of blood from the left nostril of John Ruiz. Jones looks to his right, lands a left hook. Toying with Ruiz, the way he has with a long string of light heavyweight challengers who weren't good enough to test him. We're halfway through this fight, and I heard one you of know, my colleagues say earlier, this guy's too small. Hey, you can take that away. This, he's fighting like a big man, and he can do this to anyone. I don't care if you're 6'12". Can you be 6'12"? <laughs> hey, it's Jack O'Neill. He's around here someplace. Straight <laughs> <laughs> right hand, Lance Plus for Jones. Hot shotting John Ruiz from the outside. Remember, all it takes is one good shot by Ruiz, and things can change. <laughs> this is the way Roy Jones looked fighting Glenn Kelly. This is the way Roy Jones looked fighting Richard Grayson. This is the way Roy Jones looked fighting Richard Hall. Guys who couldn't hold his jock in the light heavyweight division. He's toying with Ruiz the way he did with them. Now here goes John Ruiz looking is, to impose himself into the fight. This is the fight that Ruiz has got to fight. Keep it right there. Don't let it 
If the referee breaks you up, go right back to it. Hard body shot by Jones. Hard body shot by Ruiz. Another round in which Ruiz mostly waited for Jones to do damage. Get the blood off of it. Warm here, you get the bed. Come on, water, water. Give it here, give it here. You get the bed. Give it here. Get the bed. Give me some deep. Seven pounds, Tony. Seven pounds. Don't fight this fight. Yeah. Don't get into that motion, John. He's the best at it. Don't even go there with him. All right? Come on, hands up. Jab, walk him down, and we're on the Just keep putting pressure on him. This has not been a scintillating action fight, but there is drama in watching the smaller man outwit and out hit the bigger guy. At the end, Ruiz does force his way into Jones, but he can't land anything clean. How do you have it through six? Okay, Jim. 60 to 54. Six rounds to nothing. Roy Jones Jr. I gotta tell you something, Jim. He's making his fight look so easy. I don't know. Standing in the middle of the ring, getting off first constantly. Now he's landing combinations. It's not only one tremendous left hook or one tremendous left jab, like you saw there. It's combinations. Hitting them with everything. Roy Jones Jr. all the way. You know, you could go back in his career and find whole years with two or three title defenses in which Jones didn't lose a round. So it's not unusual to see a whitewash on the scorecard halfway through. And in general, the, his fights have unfolded much like this one. It now looks Ruiz, a lot like this. Ruiz yeah. has got him close enough to the ropes. Well, he let it get away again. you got to get him close to the ropes and just start throwing shots. Now he's close again. And he allows him to get that corner again, where it's five steps away. Ruiz's unwillingness to press the action. Now, here he goes. All right, just as I say it, his will arises. But surely what Ruiz is doing in there tonight tells us that Jones did indeed add some power to his punch. No, 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 no. Thank you. You think so, George? I didn't hear it. I think Jones is hitting harder than he did at 175 here. Oh, no doubt about it. He's yeah. feeling the power. But Jones is not a guy who's looking for a knockout. You can forget that. I said earlier, Bob Foster said he couldn't hurt those heavyweights because he was trying to get a knockout. Jones does not look for knockout. He's a 12-round fighter. That's true. Often in the light heavyweight division against outclassed opponents, he's gone 12 rounds. Just because he doesn't like to take chances in the ring. Ruiz gets him into the corner, pound on him, and then let a whole two minutes go, go by without doing the thing. When they stand in the center of the ring and ten seconds go by with no action, that doesn't help John Ruiz. That helps Roy Jones. Roy Jones was able to land a body shot a moment ago that got Ruiz holding his right hand close to his side. That, that right hand hurt. Now he's got him against the ropes. He's got to go for it. Hand lead by Roy Jones, that hurt. Seven rounds, not much change in the flow. Ruiz trying a little harder in that round to press the action, but he's not there yet. There's the man who beat Larry Holmes in 1985, Michael Spinks. He did it by throwing flurries of punches and bunches and then getting out of the way. Stick and move, baby! It's on. Bullshit! You need to go hard, Bob. Come on, you, got, you went in. You went in. Oh. Come on, Roy. You gotta, Johnny. You gotta fucking do it. You gotta do this fucking Roy. is doing everything, man. Come on! Norman Stone just called his fighter Roy. Come. Come. All right. You didn't deal with that jab and walk him down and throw the other punch. Mix your power up in there, okay? I got you. If that, if that one jab don't work, give me a light strong jab. Down. 
We wanted to know whether John Ruiz could ask questions of Jones that his other outclassed opponents could.